wanted to do a follow-up video. This is a, one of the two fig trees that I winterized using straw, and I'll link to the video in the top right cards. Just wanted to show this to you. I'm hoping you can see this. See the green growth starting right there? Same way on this limb over there. Green growth starting. There's a bud there. There's a bud there. There's a bud there. And um, I kind of assume this one should be any day also. So that's uh, one of the figs. Let me show you the other one. Okay, so now we're actually over to the other one. And I kind of hope this will come in. Uh, let me see if I can get down here. One of the things I forgot to mention was after I took the uh, fence off of these and also took the straw off, we got two or three days that got down to like 27 degrees. And to be honest with you, I was like, I might have messed up. I, I probably just let these get frost damage. But, just to go to prove, looky right there. You can see the tips of these limbs are starting to bud out. Several places all the way up here to the very top. These goats are about to drive me crazy today. Um, another limb over here. Both of them have some green on it. All the way up here to the top has got some green on it. So what's really important about this is. Is your, your figs will grow on the second year. Your bigger figs will grow on your second year wood. At every one of these nodules all the way down as long as like the limb is still alive like this is still alive there's a nodule 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 this one's still alive there's nodule 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 this one is still alive at least up to here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten there's ten nodules on that limb and I didn't even I only counted the ones I could see uh, this one right here it's got green right there that means one two three four five six seven eight nine so that's kind of what I'm getting at is that the method that I use works I this makes the second or third year that I've done this it's worked great every year so uh, try to do that. If you got fig trees that get damaged by frost every year, it works. I've just proven to you it works. I'll link to the videos above where I actually use this kind of fence. Sometimes I stack it too high, like on this one, two rows high. Then I fill it up with straw until you just can't put any more straw in there. Then in early spring, I come down, actually there's both fences right there. In early spring, I come out here I take the fences off. I use the straw for other places to insulate my blueberries, to insulate my beds and the potato patch. Uh, the other fence to the first fig is over there. Zoom in so you can see it. See it over in the woods. So that method works for figs if you have really cold winters. As always. Look at the goats. They like got quiet. As always, God bless you. God bless your families. God bless your homesteads.